People, people, people. Here we are. Leg day. Guys, quickly before I get into the gym, um, I want to do a little bit on repetition of exercise, if that makes any sense. So, any of you powerlifters out there, I'm sure you know more than me anyway, but for those of you that don't know who are powerlifting, or those of you who are just generally trying to get your squat up, or generally trying to get your bench press up, or your deadlift, or any kind of lift in fact, the more you do that single lift, the easier it will become. Your brain will learn the motor pattern that it takes to um, to perform the lift. Uh, it will remember the form that you use, and it will eventually become like breathing. That you won't. You'll be subconscious. You'll just do it. So I've really been trying to up my frequency of squatting. Not necessarily up my frequency of leg days to try and build bigger legs, but up my frequency of squatting. Um, and in doing so, I, I set myself with one step, I unwrap the bar, I step back, and I only move my right foot backwards every single time, and that's it, I'm, and I'm straight in my position. There's no filling with my feet, there's no wondering what I'm gonna do with this, what I'm gonna do with that. Is my face red, or is it just me? I think I need some moisturizer. <laughs> Sorry, and um, yeah, so repetition of exercise. Um, teach your brain, teach your body how to perform that movement in, with perfect form so it becomes second nature. The, the lift will become easy, your weight will go up and up and up as your body gets used to shifting the weight because it will use the most efficient way for you, keyword for you because what I do may not be good for you, but it will, be, it will use the most efficient use of your muscles, of your joints, of your ligaments to explode back up. In my case, I'm talking about the squat. Um, so I find my hole relatively easy. I come down nice and slow. It's taken me years to do this, guys. So it does. It happens over a long, 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 long period of time. I might still lose a lot of power during my squat. My knees are just a little bit iffy. Um, but that comes with time and strengthening the... Um, the ligaments. Uh, you guys probably saw when I went to Pro Strength in Swindon with Dan and um, a few of the other guys, Tom Ride and um, Leo. Um, you'll see that Dan, out of all of us, even even if the other guys lift strong, even if the other guys lift more, um, they haven't been lifting as long. So you'll see that in Dan's squat, he does not lose any power whatsoever wherever he is. Um, his knees don't come in, he doesn't kind of shift when he's in the hole. He sits straight into that hole and he finds his rhythm instantly because he's been doing it for so long, he's been repeating these movements for so long now. Um, but his ligaments, his tendons, his muscles, they're all built for that kind of thing. They've all been subject to that. What's going on here? Uh, they, sorry, just pulled up to the gym and there's a big lorry in my space. Um, so his, his whole body, head to toe, are specific to uh, his lifts that he's been doing. You'll see that he doesn't lose any power out of his, um, his squat. His knees don't come out, his knees don't come in. They are still, they do not come anywhere outside just because all of the joints and tendons and everything holding that knee together are so strong because of the years and years of programming. Yeah, I call it programming because your brain can be programmed to remember things. Um, so his knees, his ankles, his hips are all designed for a squat and deadlift and bench press and all the, other, all the other exercises that he's been doing over the years and years and years. So don't get disheartened when you see someone like that completely blowing you away and mind boggling you because this is what it does for me. But you really, you've got to take a step back, learn from what they've done and realize that it's years of work, guys. You know, I, I, I can see a guy with 200 squat with his knees flailing all over it, I'll be a bit like, oh fucking hell, he's gonna snap his knee there. But if I see someone perfect, knees out, come down, they don't move out of that hole, that hole that's much more impressive to me, guys. This the, the visual, uh, because you can appreciate the years of work that's got into it. Anyway, let's squat. Let's squat, baby, let's squat.
hit that 150 three sets of five felt good felt strong so we're gonna drop it to 140 do some sets of eight sets of eight maybe two or three see how it goes just to get more high reps than there so done the strength part worked up to 150 five reps that'll drop down for some volume and that'll be it squats done move on to some reverse hack squat Probably just normal hat squat actually because I haven't really felt my quads in a while. So I'll do some bit of Tom Platt style, so watch out for this. And then I'll go back to some sumos, some volume work on sumos, not heavy, just to work those hamstrings and glutes, and then finish a move. Only got hour and ten minutes left, so we'll pick up the pace a bit after these sets of one boy. Enjoy. So for these Tom Platz hack squats, you'll see me come down of the eccentric part, the negative part um, of the hack squat normally. And then I come down and I extend my um, my range of movement even more. So I roll up onto my toes and I really put my heels down onto my ass. Really, really push those hips up. Stretch that quad as much as you can. You're gonna have to take the weight down a lot more than you normally used to. Um, almost no weight, in fact, I had. Uh, just because the pressure is a lot on your knee, you really need to build those ligaments up on the knee before you get there. Um, you really want to take the weight down just to be careful of the knee because it is a lot of stress on the knee. Tom Platz has blessed very good knees and lots and lots of years of practice. Uh, it's going to take me a few months to get my weight up on this, but I'm really going to start doing it because the extension of the quad all the way up the hip flexor is unbelievable. So definitely something that I'm going to keep going with. Be careful with the weight, be careful with your knees. This is why I kept my knee wraps on for this one. Um, full extension, imagine extending that quad as much as you can. This set is going to be the end of me. This is pushing beyond failure. Done right. I've said it on camera now, I've got to do it. Finally, uh, I couldn't fit anything else in because I didn't have enough time, I had to start work, but it was a great workout nevertheless. Uh, I did five sets of 24 reps, eight reps with my legs facing inwards, eight reps with my legs facing outwards, and eight reps with my legs facing normally. 
Uh, this just isolates each of the heads of the quad uh, outside sweep, uh, the massive biliaris, the kind of the bit on the inside, and then also the full quad at the end. Um, a lovely little technique that I learned off uh, YouTube back in the day. So in, out, shake all about, straight. That's it from you guys. Just finished that leg session. Absolutely dead. I've got work in five minutes. Have a quick shower. Go do that shift. But uh, I hope you learned something today. I know I did with those Tom Platts uh, hack squats. Let me know you want to see what you want to see next, guys. And it's good seeing you all. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.